Discover the exquisite beauty of Islam with our exclusive poster collection showcasing the 99 names of Allah. Each poster meticulously presents the Arabic name, pronunciation and English translation, embodying the essence of our Creator. Elevate your surroundings with these high-quality designs that not only serve as art, but also offer a glimpse into the profound beauty of Islamic culture. Immerse yourself in the collection and unveil the magnificence of the 99 names. Links in the description box. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, this video has been going viral lately. The name is Scientists Shocked by Quranic Wonder, a small brain found in the human heart by the channel Islamic Warning. All right, let's jump right into it, guys. But before, as always, if you enjoy my content, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box. We have brand new merch. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. When I was in school, I was taught that the brain is the master organ in the body. But what the new science is showing us is that the brain receives the instructions telling it what to do from our heart. All right, guys, sorry to disappoint you, but this man is not a scientist. His name is Greg Braden, and he's a writer. He's a new age author, indeed, that was on the television show Ancient Aliens. And in his publications, he talks about science, but by scientist, he's seen as a pseudoscientist because he has no diploma whatsoever in sciences. He's just a writer that tries to merge spiritual matters and scientific matters. That's it. The human heart. And this is a relatively new way for science to think about us and our relationship to our bodies. Yeah, he is not an authority what to speak on science. What we now know is that the quality of emotions that we create within our heart determine the signal that we send to the brain to release the chemistry into our bodies. Every moment of every day, there's a conversation that is happening between our heart and our brain. It's the inner environment, thoughts, feelings, emotions, and beliefs we know can be either healing or toxic. Humans commonly believe that the brain is the center of thoughts and controls the entire body. It is responsible for thinking and understanding. On the other hand, the heart is crucial for maintaining blood supply throughout the body. It is vital for every organ to function correctly, and without it, the entire body of a human being could die. The heart is as important as the brain. But can the heart think or make decisions? Yeah, I have to be very critical about this video because on the one hand, sure, it's good, it went viral and therefore it gives Muslims hope and it gives people more faith, etc, etc. But the statements here that are being made not only by the guy that is supposedly a scientist, but now by the video creator, they're just so extremely vague. What does it mean? The heart is just as important as the brain. Yeah, go figure. The liver is just as important as the brain because without a liver, you would die as well. Without kidney Kidneys, you would die as well. Your skeleton is just as important as your brain because if you have no skeleton whatsoever, you would just collapse. Therefore, those are blanket statements. They're not scientific whatsoever. And I'm not a scientist myself, but this is really not good research. Well, science doesn't have a clear explanation and is still researching this complex connection. However, the Quran contains verses suggesting that the human heart is involved in thinking. In this video, we will answer all your questions that are related to the human heart and that have already been answered in the light of the Holy Quran. Yeah, I'm the party pooper today. I know I'm pretty skeptical in this video, but the way that I learned it, when the Quran addresses the heart, it's not talking about our fleshly heart, about the muscle in our chest. It's much more a spiritual matter if we're talking about the human heart. It is our spiritual connection to the Creator, and therefore to limit it to the organ that is beating in our chest and to make this scientific connection action, quote unquote, for me is just a far reach. Sometimes Human heart really makes good go and viral, bad man. decisions, and it is one of the miracles of the Holy Quran which shook medical science. Who controls human thoughts, the heart, or the brain? Allah Almighty says in Surah Al-Kaf, verse number 16, 
الإنسان ونعلم ما توسوس به نفسه ونعلم ما توسوس به نفسه ونحن أقرب إليه من حبل الوريد. Surely we have created man and we know the promptings of his heart and we are nearer to him than even his jugular vein. Yeah, he translated it as the heart. However, here the surah that he is posting here with the translation itself says the soul whispers to him. So I obviously do not speak Arabic. I need your help here, guys. Let me know what this surah actually claims. Is it the heart or is it the soul? Just by the translation alone that he posted here, we are not talking about the heart and therefore the heart would not dictate the thoughts that are entering the brain, but it would be the soul according to this translation. 16. Although whispers are the thoughts which are the work of the brain, but Allah says that they are raised in the heart. Then Allah says that we and are closer to man than the heart. Well. So what's up with that? The jugular vein here means the most important part of the human brain, which is directly connected to the brain and is aware of all human thoughts and whispers. Still, Allah says that he knows the whispers and thoughts in the human heart, but how can this be possible? Allah Almighty further says in Surah Al-Mulk verse number I really don't understand the question here. He says, but still Allah knows all of our thoughts. How is this possible? Yeah, because he is Allah. He is the all-seeing, the all-knowing. Of course, he knows our thoughts. I really don't understand how this video went viral. For what? Whether you speak in secrecy or aloud, it is all the same to Allah. He yes, even knows the course. secrets that lie hidden in the hearts of people. Quran 67-13 sure. These verses of the Quran clearly show that the even human heart can think and can understand. Yeah, of course, this is what it boils down to if you're a hardcore literalist. If you take everything literal, then you reduce it to the human organ, the heart. I would speak about intent here. I would speak about a spiritual intention that the human holds within what is in their hearts. Of course, this is a metaphor. This is clearly understood. We do not have to talk about a flesh organ. And surely Allah will know what is in your heart. I really don't understand why modern day Muslims want to make everything extremely literal and then it has to please science as well. Why? Until now, medical science believed that medical the only work of the human heart is to pump it's blood science. into the body. But it is not like that. But recent research suggests otherwise. The human heart is okay, seen as an independent and complete Show organ. me the research. The human heart is not exactly like our brain, but it has its own intelligence. Although the details and extent are not fully known yet, we are aware that it exists and even has its own memory. This is not only mentioned Every in the Quran, but is also clearly present memory. in the saying of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Norman ibn Bashirin reported that Holy Prophet said in one of his hadiths, Beware, there is a piece of flesh in the body. If it becomes good, reformed, the whole body becomes good, but if it gets worse, the whole body gets worse, and that is the heart. Okay, now Sahih I understand why you would reduce it to it. Sure. The small brain within the human heart consists of 40,000 nerve cells, the same kind found in our brain, sending messages through the nervous system. This is such an amazing discovery that has changed the view of entire medical science. A Canadian medical doctor, Dr. J. Andrew Amore, has introduced a new term called nervous neurocardiology. It focuses on studying the small brain in the heart in detail and exploring it further. Yeah, what they're talking about here is actually a study that has been done in 1991. So this is nothing new and it was done by Dr. Armour, that is correct. And it speaks about a so-called little brain with 40,000 neurons. However, this little brain apparently is important for pain registration. So essentially what this study found is that when you have a sensation of pain within your body, it's not only the brain that is signalizing that, but the heart itself due to its neural connections actually signalizes pain within your body. And of course that makes sense if you look into heart attacks, etc. In his logical explanation, he mentions that when a person signals to slow down the heartbeat, the heart reacts based on his will, not necessarily as expected. Sometimes the heart's is reaction is by the brain again. to the signal, and unlike the brain, we can't fully control it as we wish. Amazingly, 1400 years ago, in the Holy Quran, 
Allah conveyed the same concept, stating that the mind's responsibility and position aren't just in the brain but also in the human heart. It is the place where the soul resides in the human body. Allah Almighty directs attention to the heart regarding thinking and understanding, leading some to mistakenly believe that the heart functions as the brain. However, spiritually, thinking and understanding are attributed to the heart, not physically. Physically, these exactly. functions not belong to the brain. A spiritual heart. For instance, when Allah mentions that neglecting His remembrance turns the heart black and puts a seal on it, it symbolizes a spiritual state, exactly. emphasizing exactly. that it's while the heart works heart spiritually for thinking, understanding and decision-making, the brain handles these functions physically. The heart is recognized as the center for negative thoughts and sins. As an example, when the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was a child, Angel Gabriel washed his heart with water and returned it, symbolizing spiritual purification. Yes. The command All right, this is it for today's video. I'm going to cut it off here. I really don't like when they try to put science and theology and philosophy and spirituality together just to make it more appealing. Yet again, yes, there was a study about the little brain in the heart. However, it has nothing to do with the spiritual teachings of the Quran whatsoever. That little brain in the heart was about pain signaling. This is what that study was about. Or the quote-unquote scientists that they displayed in the beginning as some sort of authoritative figure, even though he is just an author. We do not have to take those secular belief systems and infuse them into Islam in order to make a strong point. Why not concentrate on the teachings of the Quran? Why not concentrate on the purification of the heart that is obviously a spiritual metaphysical matter? Why would we have to concentrate on the physical muscle in our chest, concentrating on this dunya rather than on the spiritual matters? I genuinely believe that videos like this take people further and further away from the truth teachings of Islam and secularize them even more so and make them attracted towards science because now science is taken as this ultimate standard and if the Quran is aligning with the new science of today then it must be true of course. I find this absolutely ridiculous. We're speaking about theology, we're talking about spirituality, we're talking about philosophical concepts, we're not talking about a physical heart that can be cut out by a doctor on an operating table. But anyways guys, this is just my opinion. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this? Do you believe that this scientific approach to Islam is useful or counterproductive? Please let me know in the comment section and we can discuss it over there. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, check out the links in the description box to further support. And now, as always, may God bless you all, much love and peace.